Look, now I said I wasn't gonna talk about any Jordan 1s for a while, but that wasn't until I seen these sneakers and it made me renege on my statement. What's good y'all? Welcome to Kulu with Camcorder. This is where you get content focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion. Now today we are talking about a three-way collaboration, which happened to be one of the hardest collaborations I've ever seen in sneaker history. This sneak collaboration is the Air Jordan 1 with Beth Beauty Supply and Union LA collaboration. Now with all these names being put to this collaborative design, this is actually called Summer 96. Starting off from a visual display, I think that this is a fire sneaker. This is the perfect way to end off the summertime and begin the fall. Looking at this, a lot of people will think that this is just one sneaker release but actually it is a two sneaker release the first one being with the regular midsole that you see that's pretty small pretty slim and then you have the second one which is a thicker platform on the midsole which is actually attractive and it is not only for women it's about for anybody who really feel like they need a little bit of height advantage then this will be the perfect sneaker for you to get both sneakers have a fire presentation and both of these will be going for two hundred dollars but if this small display and the detail does not grab your full attention then the story of this this entire sneaker collaboration should. For those who don't understand why Summer of 96 is so big and why is this a big collaboration, this is a huge collaboration simply because of the two powerhouses that are connected to this collaboration. Just to put those two together, we have Chris Gibbs of Union LA and we have Beth Burkett of Beffy's Beauty Supply. Not only are these two powerhouses connected through streetwear fashion, these two are an actual pair. Yes, a couple in love. So these two being put together on a collaborative idea, especially a sneaker like this, is a fire idea especially with what they've done for so much in streetwear. Now that we got that covered, let's bring it back to the forefront. Now the reason that this is called Summer of 96 is for so many reasons. One, starting off the season and the year that Beth Burkett and Chris Gibbs started their love union together. This is like the perfect love sneaker story. Also, this sneaker pays homage to hip hop and streetwear. In 96, hip hop was spreading to a massive rate. It was spreading everywhere. You could hear it worldwide. Hip hop was growing at an accelerated speed. But not only was hip hop rising, you had streetwear that also was booming as well and a lot of people were seeing in new york showing their street fashion in the biggest way and we're already learning even more about celebrating 50 years of hip-hop and we know that streetwear fashion and music go hand in hand so putting this sneaker story together is in perfect harmony now what does grab my attention even more is how you can have so many stories attached in so many different ways while still staying on the same storyline of showing love and showing homage to things that you actually care about but with this particular collaboration being surrounded about one thing which is really showing love that's a fire idea you showing love to hip-hop streetwear and the love for your relationship that is a fire purpose and how you put that together was ideal so after doing all of the research about this sneaker and finding out the ins and outs about how this was built and created it brought me back to the display of this entire sneaker looking at the sneaker i am big on color it's one of my favorite things when it comes to sneakers because it shows who i am as a creative when it comes to my type of style so seeing all of these bright vibrant colors it brings attention to my eyes i do like the silhouette i like the body i like the layout so like i said these are colors that are perfect for the summer but also leading into the fall these are colors that you could still use and have a fire outfit to connect with now to get to the major part which i'm sure a lot of people are really focusing on is two things one with the platform the platform that was created through best idea was not only for women this was meant for anybody that needed any type of height added to themselves if you wanted to add just a little bit more inches or whatsoever this will be the platform that give you just the inches that you need so now get into the part where i think a lot of people are focusing on especially me myself it's this woven stitch that's around this entire sneaker. With this woven part, me looking into the story, I thought it was more so a way of them showing their love, how they are woven together, how they're stitched and connected in a way, how they have taken their lives and they have connected with one another and they're woven together as a pair. But that wasn't the actual story. To keep it funky with you, after doing more research, I came to find out that in summer of 96, it was real arts and craftsy of a lot of people to be wearing like crochet and woven sweaters and sweatshirts and things like that so that was something that shows a part of when they were in 1996 when they met in brooklyn and they have became a pair so that's their way of showing this is when we met also so it's staying on the same line of the time that they met so they took that woven idea and added that to the shoe in addition to that their culture is afro-caribbean so it also plays a part in a culture who they are as individuals and when they came together as a team as a union as a pair so this is a fire idea just from one simple thing 
added to this shoe, it all brings one story together. So it also shows who they are as individuals and show their love story when it first began and first started in 96. So I already know that this is not the end of the year. There's multiple sneakers that will be dropping within the next couple of weeks, within the next couple of months, we're going to have some heavy hitters, some haymakers. But if I'm being honest, I think this is going to be the sneaker of the year. I simply believe these two powerhouses coming together, the design that was put together and the story layout, there is no other story that will top this story here. Not one. I don't care what type of sneaker you bring out and who other brands you connect with and what other big fashion names that you connect with. There's not a powerhouse like this that has paired together, showed they love, put together a fire design and still stayed on a great storyline and not fuck this up. They actually did a great job. Shout out to Beth Burkett and shout out to Chris Gibbs because this was a fire collaboration. All right, y'all, I just laid it out for y'all about Beth Burkett and Chris Gibbs new sneaker release that's going to be dropping this month. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Do you think this is number one sneaker? Do you think I'm tripping? Do y'all feel that there's something else that's going to come or something that has released already that's fire? Drop that comment down below. Let me know what's up man but with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here man and it feels good to be back y'all make sure y'all tune in for more sneaker videos i'm gonna catch up with y'all soon y'all already know the vibe man i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all peace